Knowing the exact zone time of sunrise or sunset helps determine the optimal times for taking stellar observations, which are essential for determining a ship's position through astronomical observations. In today's video, I will show you how to calculate the zone time for sunrise and sunset. In this scenario, on the early morning of December 19, 2021, the ship dropped anchor in Anchorage Area No. 7, in San Francisco, USA. Her current position was latitude, 37 degrees, 49, decimal 41 minutes north, longitude, 122 degrees, 23 decimal 0 minutes west. Determine the zone time of sunrise for this date at the given position. First, extract the time of sunrise for the observer's latitude, on the given date, from the nautical almanac. Open the daily pages of the Nautical Almanac for December 19th. This is the right-hand page, and the left-hand page, of December 18th, 19th, and 20. You can find the time of sunrise and sunset on the right-hand page, together with twilights. The given time in this table is for the middle day, which is December 19th. There is a slight difference between the upper, and lower days, so it has an additional procedure compared to the middle day. But this video only covers the middle day, I will make a separate video that covers the upper and lower days. We can find the time of sunrise in this particular table. Let's zoom in. This column is for the time of sunrise, and on the first column, is the observer's latitude. The shaded rectangle means that the sun does not rise, and it is below the horizon for the entire day. All places from 68 degrees north to the North Pole, will experience total darkness the entire day. Note, that the time of sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, and twilight, is based on GMT or universal time of the event at Greenwich. The sunrise, sunset, and twilight figures can be considered as approximate LMT, or local mean time of the phenomena. Now the ship's latitude is 37 degrees, 49 decimal for 1 minutes north. If we inspect the table, there is no exact value. But we have latitude 35 degrees, and 40 degrees north. So our first step is sunrise interpolation. We need to find the time of sunrise for this latitude. The sunrise for latitude 35 degrees is 07 hours, 03 minutes. For latitude 40 degrees, the sunrise is 07 hours, 17 minutes. Again, the value in this table is for the middle day, which is on this daily page, December 19th. To interpolate, you can use any method you are familiar with, such as using a calculator or an Excel sheet for faster results. The method that I'll show you is manual interpolation. So the difference between these two latitudes is 2.18 degrees, and the difference between 40 and 35 degrees is 5 degrees. Be sure that these values have the same units, which is in degrees of an arc. For those who are confused about how to get 2.18 degrees, just convert 49.41 minutes into a fraction of a degree. So divide 49.41 minutes by 60, since 1 degree is equal to 60 minutes. This will become latitude 37.82 degrees. By subtracting it from latitude 40 degrees, the difference is 2.18 degrees. On the other side, the difference here is unknown, so let x well be the unknown. The difference in the time of sunrise between latitude, 40 and 35 degrees north is, 14 minutes. So we can have now an equation, 2.18 degrees, divided by 5 degrees, is equal to, x, divided by 14 minutes. Cancel both units of degree, and cross multiply. Then transpose, the value of our unknown is, 6.104 minutes, or, 6 minutes, 6 seconds. To find 6 seconds, multiply 0.104 by 60, 
since 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So this is now the value of our x. We need to determine whether we will subtract or add it. Looking at the time of sunrise at latitude 40 degrees, going down to latitude 35 degrees north, the time of sunrise is decreasing, so our unknown will be subtracted. The sunrise in latitude 37.82 degrees is 07 hours, 1 0 minutes, 5 4 seconds. Next, apply longitude and time to determine the universal time of sunrise. So we need to convert the longitude into time. This is simple if you have a calculator. Enter 122 degrees, 23 decimal 0 minutes, then divide by 15 and press equals. Just change the unit of an arc to a unit of time. So our longitude in time is 8 hours, 9 minutes, 32 seconds. If you do not have a calculator or conversion table, then you need to convert it manually. Divide 122 degrees by 15. The quotient will be in hours. When dividing manually, use the long method because we need the remainder. The remainder will be multiplied by 4, and the product will be in minutes. Next, divide 23 minutes of an arc by 15, the quotient is in minutes of time, then multiply the remainder by 4, to obtain seconds of time. The longitude in time is, 0 8 hours, 0 9 minutes, and 3 2 seconds. Why do we need to divide it by 15, and the remainder is multiplied by 4? The Earth rotates 360 degrees in 24 hours, this means the Earth rotates 15 degrees per hour, and in 1 degree of an arc, it corresponds to 4 minutes. When you apply longitude in time, subtract easterly longitude, and add westerly longitude. Our longitude is west, so we will add. The universal time of sunrise is, 1 5 hours, 1 9 minutes, and 8 6 seconds. Since we have only 60 seconds, subtract 60 seconds from 86 seconds. The 60 seconds that has been subtracted, which is equal to 1 minute, must be added to 19 minutes. So the universal time of sunrise is, 1 5 hours, 2 0 minutes, and 2 6 seconds, on December 19th. Now, apply the zone description to determine the zone time of sunrise. To find the zone description, just divide the longitude by 15, and the quotient must be rounded off to the nearest whole number. So the zone description is, positive 8. The sign of zone description for westerly longitude is, positive, and for easterly longitude, it is negative. To find the zone time or local time from the given GMT, the rule is, reverse the sign of the zone description. In this case, from GMT to zone time, we will reverse the sign. So it will become negative, then subtract. The zone time of sunrise is, 0 07 hours, 2 0 minutes, and 2 6 seconds on December 19th. On the other hand, when finding GMT from the given local time, apply the sign of zone description. For the sunset, do the same procedure on how to determine the sunrise. That's all for now, I hope you found this video helpful, see you in my next video, thank you for watching, bye.